My name is Sebastian. I'm with Serene for two years now. I studied media informatics in Munich um, with a special field of computer graphics. Then I went to the HPI and started my PhD here in the area of software visualization. Um, the main focus was layout stability for software maps, which included a lot of KPI definitions, optimization problems, evaluation and statistics, which was way more important in the last few years with the improvements of machine learning algorithms and brought me more into the field of data science. And now this finally led to me joining Serene and build up the data science team. So first, Serene is a pure data company. We collect data from multiple sources of the whole software development process that includes, for example, the Jira tickets that you create for your project management, the CICD pipelines that you create to deliver some packages on your software, the GitLab and Git information um, that collects all the software development information as well as the quality metrics for code KPIs. And what we do is we fuse these data to meaningful KPIs within our platform. This already is a large amount of data and gives basically a heaven for any data analyst. With our data science team, we go even one step further. We try to find meaningful patterns and correlations in those KPIs and then create new ones, of course. So currently it's most about actionable insights from our KPIs. Our customers are facing a lot of KPIs and ask questions like, what am I gonna do with these KPIs? For it, we set up the digital boardroom as a standard set of KPIs that relate to specific questions like, how can I increase the quality of my shipped products? How future-proof is my code? For example, effort and defect fixing is one of our KPIs that is strongly connected to other KPIs like the logic added to the code, the complexity faced by the developer, and the ratio of documentation. Also, the developer's experience in it. Also, these cause and effects are time shifted, and we have to have a look at a meaningful way. Artificial intelligence or machine learning algorithms help us to find patterns in very complex questions and complex relations, if they exist. So this is nothing like a magic box where we say, okay, we put all our KPIs in it and we just get meaningful results. The basis is a very deep understanding of what we are actually doing, what is the meaning of the KPIs and what we want to achieve and really ask for a question. Our newest research project is more statistics related than pure AI in terms of deep learning. It is the application benchmarking, which is basically a global benchmark of all the application and the knowledge we have in Serene of all the past code we already have. Um, this includes thousands of applications and around 13 million code units. So we have several interesting challenges here. First is, code repositories usually do not consist of just one single programming language. There's always a mix of languages like Java and JavaScript or Python and SQL code. So analyzing these distributions of KPIs with respect to the programming languages led to the final result that we need to split them by programming language. Second, we need a comprehensible benchmarking approach, which means we compute normalized KPIs such as logic density for each code unit which divides the logic size of a code unit by its code size. Then we take all the applications and rank them and finally have the result of our benchmarking for a specific application. Third, it comes to the visualization. We use letter value plots for it, which is basically box plots for large data sets. It allows us to show multiple quantiles at the same time. And we can show the median, which is the benchmark of all the values for the specific app. For each app and a selected KPI, we have then one plot per programming language. Our current solution is able to show a ranking of all applications for a company, basically those that I have permissions on. But this just gives me a relative view of all my company-wide applications. What I really want to see is where do I stand with respect to a global performance benchmarking. First, we want to bring the application benchmarking into the product, which means really into the platform so that it's easily available for all our customers.
Second, we want to extend the digital boardroom for more software development challenges, which means a lot of more actionable insights and KPI sets that are standardized. Third, we do a lot of collaboration with a research group at the HPI for software development and software visualization, and as well are included in the AI for software engineering study there.